working hard for months with endless sleepless nights finally the time is here where you are free with your exams assignments and books all you need after exam is some time to relax quality time with your friends and family space to analyze your future plans and most importantly some time for your own self suddenly getting so much free time may put you in a situation where you may get so confused and wonder what to do next so here are some tips that might help you number 1 sit back and relax after trusting your head in books it is finally the time when you just sit back and relax don't ever think about your exams they are gone and it's time to move on thinking about the result will only pile up to give anxiety and restlessness sleep and eat pulling those all nighters with innumerable cups of coffee and trying not to doze off has finally ended sleep is what you wanted sleep is what you get you also can indulge in food like never before visit your favorite restaurants or go street hopping mouth watering delicacies await you number 3 binge watch the exam season usually doesn't let you watch the recently released movies so If you are a great fan of cinema and web series, you must have been dying to watch those. But now that you can, go download and enjoy all that stuff you couldn't watch during exams. Number 4, reading and writing. If you're a keen reader, this is a good time to keep all your course books aside and get hold of some good novels and stories. And if writing interests you, Grab your pen and paper and write down your fictional or non-fictional pieces and complete your work and write down your journal. Number 5. Cheer yourself up. The best way to refresh your mind is a get together with your friends. Invite your close friends, classmates, cousins for a party at home. Asking everyone to get home cooked meals so as to enjoy the variety. Catchy music, a few games and all night talks will definitely lighten up everybody's mood. Number 6. Learn what you always wanted to. The pressure of academics often makes you push your hobbies on the back burner. So this is the time when you can finally give wings to your passion. Hobbies are what keeps us alive and relieve the mind of unwanted stresses, boost creativity and instill positivity. Number 7. Go out for a sport. Humankind plays to survive and survives to play. After the exams, going out and playing games that interest you the most seems like a breath of fresh air. The best thing about a sport is that it will also help you shed those extra kilos you gain while you were glued to your books. Call your friends and family for indoor games like Ludo or Carrom and outdoor games like badminton or football. Number 8. Look for internship opportunity for those who are career oriented can look for internship opportunities or connect with ngos except for adding to your cv these opportunities will equip you with skills and prepare you for the corporate world number 9 visiting the local unexplored places your own city might having some good unexplored places which you can search for and plan to visit exploring such places in your own city could also turn out to be a never to be forgotten trip You would never know what that place has to offer. Last but not the least, number ten, set a planner. Although you might don't want to look at the books right now, eventually you must set a planner for the next semester. Look at the academic calendar, your syllabus, your books, and set goals for the upcoming semester. This will help you improve yourself for the next exam season. We hope this list gave you some ideas about what to do now that your exams are finally over. and that you enjoy this break because you definitely deserve to at the end don't keep calm because your exams are over pamper yourself after you emerge as a warrior feel proud that you sailed through stay bindas rock on